Hey guys, this is Andrew with AndroidCenter.com, and we're looking at the uh, Deer Reader Google Reader client. And uh, well, more, it's quite a bit more than a Google Reader client, but um, we're going to just dive into it here and give you a look around the UI because it actually is a really, really nice app that um, follows the latest Android design guidelines. It's all hollow and things like that, but it's also just extremely smooth and responsive. Um, I'll show you what I mean by that. Uh, everything is just extremely smooth. And when you're uh, scrolling through stories and everything like that, it's just it's just extremely nice, which helps a lot with the user experience. The, uh, the basic user paradigm though here, uh, I'll show you the tablet in a minute, but on the phone is um, you have two choices. You can either have this card style, which is pulled directly from what uh, Google Plus shows uh, in its card kind of view, uh, but you can also, by going to the menu, you can uh, change to a horizontal card view that'll show a larger story first and then um, two cards side by side as you go on through, uh, which is really nice. The vertical scroll is a bit better on the phone and the uh, other way is a bit better on the tablet, but it's all personal preference. Um, over here on the left, you have your Google Reader feeds get pulled in. Uh, you can see I've used this for podcasts and then also um, uh, news reading, but uh, you can pull here to refresh, which is something that they've uh, nicely thrown in. Um, when by default, when there are uh, unread items, they let's see. After a refresh, it goes back into the the news feed. But so you get unread items. So these are collapsible lists. You have top blogs to follow, for example, and you can expand or um, collapse these, uh, but they expand by default when there's something uh, unread. So under video podcast here, I have nothing unread. So that's just collapsed. You can turn on uh, red stories if you'd prefer, uh, but this, this way makes it easy to see what's unread, what am I getting into here. Uh, if you tap into any of these, for example, if you tap into all items, you get taken to the first story and then as I said, you have the rest of these. And it reminds you a bit of the way Flipboard works um, with the big cards and things like that. It's not so good for kind of like a power power user that just wants to scan through a bunch of items, mark as red, unread, star, and go back to them later. This is more of a casual layback experience. Um, let's see if we can go into here. Let's see, is this good site called Android Central? And if you tap into a story, you can get the whole thing. Now, if a page has truncated it to with their RSS cuts it off, you'll be able to use the menu and you can go to the web page and view the full page, you know, you can get videos or whatever. And then you can also uh, send that out to an external browser if you prefer. I'm gonna to toss it over to the tablet now and um, show you that. I have it running here on a Nexus 7. And it's a very similar experience, but it actually works really well on the tablet. And we'll do another sync here, make sure we have all the up-to-date stuff. But you can see it's the basic same thing. You have the swipe in and out, this over here. But the, the view is a lot nicer on the full-size tablet. It looks a lot better. You have a lot more reading room, but that's just generally the case with tablets. Uh, it's nothing special the Deer Reader does, but they do take really good advantage of that. Uh, everything else here is the exact same. You do have light and dark hollow themes as well as orange light and dark, so it's just replaces it with orange buttons and things like that instead. Uh, everything else is the same on the tablet, but what I do want to show you is they also have a widget it's also hollow themed and um, very nice. It's a scrollable widget and it's also resizable. And they have a button to launch Deer Reader and to uh, do a sync refresh and things like that. You can customize the widget as well. The widget settings, you can set the transparency and um, 
change the colors and things like that. And uh, you know, if you like the light or dark widget. Other than that, though, the general navigation and everything on Deer Reader is quite nice, but there are still some. I don't know if they're design inconsistencies or bugs, how you want to categorize them, but oftentimes um, you'll read a story and if you go back, it'll often just go straight back to a white page. Or if you read, see, and you're un unsure there of what the last back button is gonna do for you and it drops you out of the app. Um, it's just something you get used to, but it does seem like there are a couple bugs that are sending you back to blank pages when you read, um, if you tap into something that, let's see, official manufacturer blogs, just, it just doesn't show anything. It doesn't show red, unread. Uh, I don't have any unread items here, but I would expect it normally to just show my red items or give me some indication that there's something missing and to go back, um, but there is nothing. And if you hit back, you're back to the home screen. You kind of have to remember how it operates. And that's the case with, with a lot of apps, but it would help if there were some visual cues to help you out with that. Given how well this thing is designed, um, I don't doubt at all that the uh, developers can put something in there. This is a really, really good solid base for them to work with. And um, I'm really happy with it and I like it. And it's definitely worth consideration if you're looking for a Google Reader uh, news client. So that is Deer Reader. This is the pro version. There's also a light version. I think the pro version is 129. Um, I have a few uh, more things to say about it on the website, androidcentral.com, but for now, that's your not so quick walkthrough of the app.